Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at how to render 3D components inside of your React app using React 3 Fiber. So to get started, we're first of all going to need to npm install 3 and React 3 Fiber. React 3 Fiber is basically just a little wrapper around 3. And yeah, that's basically just a normal JavaScript library to render 3D stuff. So now that we've installed it, let's get started. All right, so as you can see, I've just got this basic Vid app right here that's already running. And to get started, we are just gonna try to render a little box right here that spins and yeah, that we can click to increase our count. So to do that, we're first of all gonna need to add a little element right here called a canvas. That canvas is basically an area in which we can use the three JS components like um, 3D cubes and stuff. So this is basically yeah, it will probably be mapped to a normal HTML canvas that then renders everything using WebGL. Now that that's done, we can actually start creating a little component because we of course want to define some stuff ourselves. And our component is just going to be a box and that box will for now just return a mesh. So basically everything you want to display inside of your ReJS app or React 3 Fiber app will need to be a mesh. And for now we can just say, okay, we want a box to be rendered in this canvas. But for now, there obviously won't be anything that you can see. It will actually break the app because there's stuff missing right now. And also Canvas is not defined because it didn't import it automatically. So we're just going to go ahead and say, okay, import Canvas from React 3 Fiber. That should fix that for us. Right. So now we've got a Canvas here, but it doesn't display anything because we didn't define what our box should actually be. So to do that, we'll just wrap a few braces around here. And now we can actually do some logical stuff with this. So our mesh will of course contain stuff, one of which being a box geometry. And that box geometry will basically be the box we want to render. And it also takes some arguments. And these arguments are basically an array of how big the box should be. For our case, we're just gonna say the box should be two each. And now if we head back, we can see here's our little gray box. Now this doesn't really help us that much because for now it just looks like a normal square. So what we could do now, is actually first of all add a material so that we don't have a gray square but something that you can actually look at and that will be a mesh standard material which will get a color and that color will for now just be green we can change that afterwards no worries one thing you need to keep in mind though all of these things are lowercase so if you write it uppercase then there will be issues because then you imported the thing from 3, not from React 3 Fiber, and that will not work properly. So now if we head back, we should see that our box is now black, because as soon as we add a standard material, we will also need some light. And to do that, we can just head to our canvas, add an ambient light, and an ambient light is basically a light that comes from all directions, that um, just makes things a bit uh, more light, because complete darkness doesn't really exist, except in a room that's completely shut off, and yeah, you really rarely see that so we can now define an intensity for that like 0.1 one would be complete brightness which doesn't really make sense for something like an ambient light and now we see that it's just really slightly green to make it more realistic now we can also add a point light so that's the light that only comes from one position which we need to define as an argument and here we can just say it comes from the position 333 three. because our box is already at position 000, zero, zero. and given that um it's too wide, we of course don't want the light to be inside of our box. So now if we head back, we can see our box is now lit a bit more, but the real depth and shadows can of course only be seen if the box is actually rotated at all. And to do that, we can actually use the use frame hook. Use frame is basically like a use effect that runs continuously, but it's more performant because it's actually using the React 3 Fiber API and not the React um, API itself. So now we can just define a little use frame right here and that will interact with our mesh. And to do that, we'll actually need one more thing, which is a use ref to actually reference our mesh. So const mesh ref equals use ref and our use ref can now be used instead of a mesh. So here ref equals mesh ref. And now in our use frame, we can just say, okay, mesh ref dot current dot rotation dot y plus equals 0.1 and now we should see our box being tilted or in this case it just spins really fast because 0.1 is way too fast so let's go with 0.01 and now we see a box that's rotating just slightly really slowly and yeah that's nice now let's just do this for all the other axes as well so x y and z and choose some random values for this now if we just head here we can see we've got a really nice rotating box with actual shadows because we added the point light. 
if we were to remove the point light then we wouldn't really see the three-dimensional stuff here because yeah everything is just really dimly lit because of the ambient light. If we were to remove the ambient light then everything that isn't hit by the point light would just be black which of course isn't what we want either. Now that we've done that we can actually add some more stuff because um, the mesh actually gives us a few other things we can tap into like a few on functions basically like an on pointer over and that is basically the same as on mouse over for a normal react component so you could add some stuff here like let's say we create a use state here hover set hover equals use state and now we can just say okay if pointer over then set hover to true and then we of course got the other option right here which is on pointer out and on pointer out will of course set it to false and now we could do something like if we hover then display it in green otherwise display a color of red for example if we now head in here we can see i'm currently not hovering so it's red if i hover then it's green you might also want to do some stuff like now changing the um, cursor for example which you could do a bit more uncomfortably but it is possible You'd need to uh, create a use effect that reacts to your little hover state you just created and then you would actually need to change the uh, cursor on the document level because you can't add css styling to all the stuff from react 3 fiber so you'd need to do document.body.style.cursor equals pointer if you're hovering or default if you're not hovering and now if we just head back we should see that i now get a pointer cursor and to actually make this sensible we can now say okay i got these props for my box so i can just say okay my props that i give to the mesh will just be added to this mesh like this and now if i just go to my box right here and add an on click i can just say oh, set count to count plus one and now if i just head here and click on my box you can see that the count below is increasing i hope you can use this i personally find it really fun and think you can do some really awesome stuff with 3d components in react and yeah i hope you're gonna have a good day